coil testing. It's what we're doing today. I've got the digital meter set yonder. Got the analog meter set over yonder. And what we've got here, uh, this is an old original one. The secondary is a spark plug coil. Meaning that, that this this lead out right here for the spark plug on either side and it's the way that you install the outer band onto the magneto the well maybe like a oh some stovers and hercules as such the the spark plug wire likes to come out of the out of the back side of it let's call it and mount it onto the engine like the the mccormick deer and m uh, it comes out the front and so you can you can turn this either way makes no difference just when you put it on there put the spark plug lead out on either side make sure the other side's grounded works either way equally as good and if you're using the one coil uh, replacement of old then that coil has to go on whichever side you can you can use either one but but to this coil testing and it's one of the it's one of the things that i do not have in none of my paperwork all of my paperwork that i've saved up through the years i, I cannot find and and do not know the exact uh, specifications on what a original Wyco coil should have been. I don't know that figure. But testing so many kind of through the years come up with some numbers that when put when those coils installed into an engine that the engine run good seems to, like those numbers works for me. The secondary being this spark plug one right here let's use that uh, that that digital first put that probe to there and to this lead out here that's that one the um, yeah you see I got nothing I got to set on one on 200 down here uh, you have to set it on 20k so I'll turn that two times up 20k and now it makes no difference positive or negative just stick that one to that one and stick that one to that one y'all see them numbers maybe not on a reflection but i'll give you a readout it's 5.07 okay let's check the other one put the lead out right there the uh, probe to that lead out and the probe to that lead out and we got a 5.9 I'll show you something else. This, um, let's see. This, this is a, uh, this is one I took out of a, out of a. Uh, it's old one. This is really old. Uh, still good. Put the, put the probe right here and the probe over yonder. And I got a 4.18. That's a pretty good difference between this one. There's a 5, uh, 507 and a 4.08. Uh, both both of these call both of these works. This one will work as good. And a little uh, a, a little tidbit. If you if you have the mag all together and you don't want to take it apart and you want to check the coils, you actually can check both of them together. Just put the probe on that side and the probe on this side over here. Let's see where we're at. The uh, I've got a 10.12 on two coils combined on that one. Got nothing there. No, uh, no, no, no readout. Twink. It's not going through there. Oh yeah, I've got something done. Uh, no, I'm not on the lead. I have to get on. You have to get on the thing. Let that be a lesson to you. You have to be on to the thing. Got a uh, this lead out. Got a 8.24 total of the two coils, and up here we got a 10.06. This is new coils that was purchased recently. The two coils here 
And I'm just going to use this, this spring that was laying here on the workbench to connect the two together and, and to check those two together across yonder. I've got a 10.9 of these two combined. So you can check them in, in the magneta to make sure that the secondary part is good. And, and I'm using that number, well, you know, like anywhere from like 7,000 to 11, you know, it's a pretty broad range, but I think all of that will work. That's these two up here. That's, that's this winding. So if you put them two together, oh, I got nothing. You see it went to zero. What you have to do is to turn it back to the 200 number. Get to down somewhere you can deal with. Then probe it. And on, on the digital, I got on the disc coil here, I got a 1.1. Okay. Uh, on this one over here, I've got a uh, 1.2. And on the uh, old original one, I have a 1.3. So, so I'm going to say that like a like a one point something is really will would be really good. You can go less and you can go more. Most of the time you will have a zero reading uh, when the coil is bad. That was on the digital. The analog uh, to do it with the analog, you come here and. Uh, if you can see that right yonder, I'm on I'm on uh, times one, and put the probe there, the probe here, and if you can see right yonder, I got about a uh, it's like a point eight I would call it, somewhat lower the on that one. But and that's about a one point. It's about it's about one, is what kind of kind of perspective re, looking at the at the at the needle yonder from a uh, kind of crooked, you know. If you come around here, it's a one. Okay, and that's all I'm going to say about these coils. You know, either they check good at some kind of decent number. <laughs> Boy, that's not very informative, but taken as a whole. Uh, what I just showed you here will work. A quick catch up on the secondary, the spark plug circuit on these coils. Those measurements are in thousands. If you probe this one here, probe this one right here on the digital meter over there set on two, on 20k, it, I got a 5.08. 